So I hear you both had to learn things for the show. Mm. Uh, piano, in your case, and basketball? No. Is this not true? No, didn't have to learn that. I already knew it. So you're already awesome at basketball? I played basketball in high school. I was the varsity captain of my... I was the captain of my varsity team, so yeah. Was that something that was incorporated into the character because of your skills? No, they oh. had zero idea. So when they wrote it, uh, they were like, oh, we'll get her a stunt double, and they had the woman show up, and the first take, everybody lost their mind. They love writing these extraordinary things. They do, show like, up like and go, playing like, the oh, piano. Oh, by the way, can you do that? <laughs> right. It's like a little late to learn. <laughs> What about you with piano? Was that? Uh, you know, they did a wonderful job of of getting what we needed to get in order to not disrupt the story, he to be able to push bit. it, to way to push it along. So I think you're being a uh, uh, modest. No, I'm not. I'm just, I, you know, you you don't want to reveal too much because then like people look for certain things and it dis I want them to be able to really enjoy this story and not. Pick it apart, person. Look at these hands. <laughs> yeah. These are some piano playing hands, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they were they were great about shooting it and yeah. and trying to prepare me to play these pieces that Ali Shahid Muhammad of Trap Called Quest and Adrian Young prepared. Uh, both mm -hmm. extraordinarily talented producers who do a lot of hip hop, but are just great producers. So I wanted to ask about Harlem and how it kind of impacts the show and your characters. Yeah. Uh, can you tell me sort of the, the striking things for you? Uh, you know, to me, Misty growing up in Harlem, staying there, deciding to become a cop there. Um, I grew up in Detroit, which is a predominantly black city. And so it, Harlem feels like Detroit to me in that way and in, in creating that character. I know and have grown up around and have people like that in my family who are very passionate about their city, and instead of um, looking at the problem, they decide to be a part of the solution, and that is who Misty is. You know, she had an experience when she was younger that then affected her decision to become a cop, which you see later in the series, and it's very, she's very passionate about why she's there, and it's, it's you know, especially in a time, a day and time now, where we have a distrust for the police and for the justice system to be a woman and a black woman and to say this is how I'm going to impact change is very powerful to creating that character. So, What about with Cotton Mouth? Well, Har there's a mystique about Harlem that is unique to any other community in the United States, especially for African Americans. And so I, I, I grew up going to Harlem. Uh, my father was a New Yorker who lived um, maybe five miles above Harlem, so it was where as early as 12, I'd come out from California, hop on a train and go down to Harlem and hang out. And I was just exposed to certain things that I would never see in California mm -hmm. and cultured in a certain way um, about kind of the ongoings of New York and the perspectives and the, the speed and pace, um, the music, dancing, the, the, the intelligence, education and art mm -hmm. that all was in this relatively small, small. neighborhood yeah. that didn't exist in that combination anywhere else. So I was fortunate enough to grow up seeing that. And I think you have to try to wear that in some way. It has to kind of be in your pores. And I think everyone, Cheo understands that in, in a really special way as a writer. And I think we all took our cues from the script and got a real sense of how important it was to try to embody and wear and be from that place so that it, it somehow has a has an influence on the on the story because it is a character in in Luke Cage. Yeah. Mm -hmm.